Well, Wise may be one of the most affordable camera companies on the market, but don't let that make you think it skims on quality. With 1080p video, 2 way audio, and awesome infrared night vision, the Wise cams have the same features we expect from other smart security cameras for a fraction of a cost. Now, the only issue is that if you have and use these cameras and are knee deep in the Apple HomeKit ecosystem, then these cams don't really support HomeKit secure video. And Thanks to scripted, let's enable HomeKit secure video for these awesome cameras. Anyways, if you're into smart home DIY and obviously love the Apple HomeKit ecosystem, then I've done tons of tutorial videos that you can literally use right now. So pretty please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. Well, finally, I did bite the bullet and have gone 100% with scripted for all of my RTSP cameras. I must say that I have no regrets, plus it gives me that brilliant HSV support. And I also now have installation guides to set up scripted using a Raspberry Pi, a Mac, and even a Synology NAS. And as time goes by, I will keep updating the scripted playlist with more videos. Now, way back in 2020, I did do a video on how to enable the RTSP protocol using Using your wise cams and if you haven't done that yet then pretty please pause this video and refer to that video which i have left a link in the description on how to enable rtsp for your wise cams you can only enable this service for the wise cam v2 v3 plus the wise cam plus as the enable and support the rtsp protocol so what will you need you'll definitely need to have scripted already installed on a network so I already have tutorial videos and the one that we'll be using is installed together with Homebridge within a Docker container. And the start of the show, you'll definitely need a Wisecam V2, V3 or a Wisecam pan. So let's not waste any more time and let's jump into this tutorial. So right now I already have Homebridge already set up over here on my Raspberry Pi, which ends with .237 is the IP address. And I'm using it as a uh, scripted as a Docker container within the Homebridge setup. So let's go ahead and log in into the interface. Now, when you're accessing scripted uh, using your Raspberry Pi, Synology Jazz, or even your Mac, you want to make sure the port is either 10 443 which is right now on my other raspberry pi or you can even use 11080 so once this is already set up what you want to do is if you have uh, any plugins that are pre-installed with the installation you want to go ahead and run the auto updates so once the plugin is installed what you want to do is go and install first is the rtsp plugin and then you want to go ahead and install the homekit plugin Let's check on plugins and you have all that is required. So you have HomeKit, the motion detection and the RTSP camera plugin. So let's go ahead and click on RTSP camera plugin. And all you have to do is go and click on add device or name it as demo camera. And then right now we're going to go and add in the username password as well as the RTSP link. Now just in case you want to assign it a room within the configuration, you can do that right now. But it's not really necessary because we'll control it within the Apple Home app. So the username, so let's go and access that information. So in my case, the username is home. So this is all of the information that you set up within the RTSP configuration within the Wise app. So this is my username, password. So you just want to make sure, click on the green button and then the RTSP link. And you want to click on save RTSP stream URL. Now, once that is done, what you want to do is go ahead and click on integration and extensions. And you just want to click on the PAM diff motion detection because this enables the hardware that's with the camera, the sensor hardware. And you want to go ahead and enable the home kit. Within advance, you want to leave it as it is. TCP, protocol, stream management, no changes. If you want to tweak anything over here, if you want to lower down the resolution, but keep it as it is. Snapshot, you don't change any configuration. In the motion detection, just leave it as it is because you're going to configure and you can do it in the Apple Home app. HomeKit, this is the name. So it also selects the sensor. HomeKit pairing. Now, I would always recommend do it as standard on accessory mode. So you have to scan the QR code and it shows up as a standard on accessory. And then you want to go back again to integration and extensions and you want to make sure you enable the HomeKit secure video local copy. That's the only configuration you need. You want to go to plugins, you want to go to HomeKit and you just want to reload the plugin. Now with the plugin reloaded, you want to go to plugins, RTSP, click on the demo camera. You should see an image broadcasting right now. 
So there it is. So that's the camera that's broadcasting onto me. And what we're going to do is we're just going to click on home kit pairing. And that's how we're going to add in the camera over here. Go ahead and open up the Apple home app. And I'm just going to go and select the demo home, which is like and subscribe. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And then I'm going to click on the tab on the plus sign, add accessory, and I'm going to tap on more options. And you will see that the demo camera is just highlighted over here. So I'm going to click on it, add anyway, and the code is right over here. So as in the bedroom continue and here is where you can select the options to enable the camera stream recording or whatever actions you want to do it while your home is right now stream you can configure it to be stream and allow recording and then you can go through all of that configuration which you will see tap on continue done and that's the camera right there so if i click on the camera i'm able to look at it and also get on the settings and also configure all of the recording options that is there. Now, what I have done is in my regular setup, let's go and select the home. You can see that it's already created a timeline at the bottom portion. So I can go through the timeline and scrub through the events that I have asked HomeKit security to do. So that was the configuration with when it enables, uh, when people are detected and all the other options I've uh, disabled. So only when people are detected. So anytime there's a person that enters the room, in my kid's room, I'm able to detect. Those are all of the recordings that has been going to my iCloud. And then also at the same time, you are able to get notifications on your Apple TV. And it's that simple to add in a voice cam onto Apple HomeKit, give it HomeKit secured video. So let me know in the comment section that you were successful to enable HomeKit secure video. And if there's anything I can assist you with, do let me know in the comments section. I'm always happy to help you. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, have a nice day, happy automation.